Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2015 Grade 3-4 Contest, Question 9, which also came up in the Grade 5-6 and 7-8 Contest. So the question is, Carl wants to write down a sequence of whole numbers which starts with 0. To obtain the next number in the sequence, he either adds 7, subtracts 7, adds 15, or subtracts 15. Which of the following statements are true for any such sequence? Alright, now for one of these options to be correct, the statement would have to be true for any such sequence, which means that even if we found one counterexample sequence against that statement, then the option would be wrong. Alright, now an even number is any number that can be divided by 2 and also ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, and an odd number is a number that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Alright, now let's look at option A. The sequence consists of only odd numbers. So I will be showing you a counterexample sequence against that statement. Now we know that the sequence must start with 0. Now let's just add 7. And now since just for option A, let's add 15 to 7, and that gives us 22. And now we know 22 ends in 2, so therefore it is an even number. And option A says it consists of only odd numbers, so therefore that must be wrong because we already have an even number. Now option B says the sequence consists of only even numbers. Well, we can use the same counterexample sequence, and we can see here 7 is an odd number, it ends in 7, so therefore option B is wrong. Now option C. None of the other options is correct. Now we don't know if that's true or, true or not yet, because we still have four more options to look at. Alright, now option D. The sequence can consist of only multiples of 7. Well, we can use the same exact counterexample sequence and see that 22 is not a multiple of 7. So therefore, that option is wrong. Option E, the sequence can consist of only multiples of 15. Again, here, 22 is not a multiple of 15, therefore that is wrong. And now, option F, the sequence can consist of only multiples of 7 or 15. Well, again, in the same sequence, as a counterexample to that statement, we can see 22 is not a multiple of 7 and not a multiple of 15. So that is also wrong. And finally, option G, the sequence can consist of only numbers less than 100. Well, if we wanted to, we could just keep on adding 15, adding 15, adding 15 until we get over 100. So therefore, option G is also wrong. Therefore, since the only one we haven't looked at is option C, and it says none of the other options is correct, option C must be true because all the other options were wrong. So therefore, the answer is, is option C. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at kerutests.com.